Hi right, guys, Mike here again. Just quickly before the sun goes down on the day, just want to just keep on this thing for prayer for a moment. One of the things that prayer does is it gives you godly advice. Um, the world is full of bad advice, and I'll touch on a scripture in a moment to show you that. Um, and what bad advice does is it detours us and uh, it distracts us. And um, sometimes we just need to go to the Bible and we need to go to God and we need to be intimate with Him. Even for a short time, you can pray in your car. You know, by the way, praying in your car or praying as you walk along the street or praying in the shower is okay. It's perfectly all right. You don't have to do the high mountain stuff all the time. Anyway, um, Scripture in Judges chapter 9, uh, the story, you remember the guy Gideon, okay? So everyone knows about Gideon. Well, then a little bit later on, uh, he had a son to a slave girl. His name was Ab Abimelech. And uh, he was a rat bag. He wanted to be the king. So what he did was he took um, all of Gideon's other sons, 70 of them, and had them murdered, uh, which is, you know, it's just a normal family outing for that guy, I think. Uh, but anyway, one of the brothers escaped. His name was Jothan. He was a proper son. Anyway, Jothan then uh, sort of almost became a prophet. And he said this to the nation of Israel. Um, he said that there were the trees of the forest got together. And they asked the olive tree, would you come and lead us? And the olive tree says, hey, listen, I'm too busy producing oil. And my oil is the best in the land. You know, people use it on their scalp. They use it on their skin. They use it for cooking. They use it, you know, it's great for them. I'm too busy producing oil and being famous. I haven't got time to be king. So then they ask the fig tree and they say, hey, fig tree, would you come and be king over us? And the fig tree said, Listen, uh, the stuff that I produce is sweet and everyone loves that sweet taste, you know, so and I'm a sweet guy, you know, and I like being sweet. You know, I haven't got time to lead um, the forest. So, you know, I'll lead the nation. So and then they ask the vine and the vine says, hey, listen, I'm making wine, mate. I'm making big profits. Um, you know, people turn water into me. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm famous. I haven't got time for this. So then they asked the bramble bush. And if you want to know what a bramble bush is, if you've ever watched a Western movie where the uh, things go rolling down the street, that's a bramble bush. A bramble bush has no foundation. It has no structure. It just blows with the wind. It blows this way on Wednesday. It blows that way on Thursday. It has no direction. It has no guidance. And that is a little bit like the advice that people give us. So Jotham, you can read that in Judges chapter 9 for yourself and see what happened. But Abimelech was nothing but trouble. So if you want advice, um, by all means, get godly counsel and godly wisdom. But go to your word first and let all that wisdom and counsel always confirm what God is saying to you. So in the meantime, bless, watch out for the bramble bush and um, have a great day. Bye.